All right, we are back in our Renovate groups. We're studying Sermon on the Mount week after week. We have with us a very special guest. This is Amy Foster. Amy, as of recently, I thought your title was Ambassador of All Things Wisdom and Awesomeness at our church. I realize that isn't your title. What do you do at Christ Chapel? I'm the director of women's ministry for the Fort Worth campus. Gotcha. Basically the same thing. Your role is speaking wisdom into people's lives. You've been on staff now for how long? Almost nine years. Awesome. Amy loves the Lord. Amy loves God's word. Uh, Our people are going through Sermon on the Mount. You've studied this. You've probably taught this before. What have you seen in the Sermon on the Mount that sticks out to you that you love about it? Yeah, I think the most beautiful thing about the Sermon on the Mount, you know, I, I grew up with this idea that... Jesus came to forgive us for our sins and take us to heaven when we die. Mm -hmm. And in the Sermon on the Mount, we see a more present day reality. We see the idea of, no, Jesus came to give us the kingdom of God right now. Um, It's going to be beautiful one day, but we experience it right now. We have a king. We are his subjects. We're living under his reign and his rule. And for me, that just gives me purpose and hope and meaning for how I live today. And I think that's really important. I love that. You talked about you the idea idea that we see in Sermon on the Mount of counterfeits versus authentic. Walk us through that. Yeah, I think you see Jesus as a master teacher in this, really, and he's using a great teaching tool. And the first time I ever experienced a teaching like this, I was a kid, we had a friend who was a Secret Service agent. And every now and then he would pull out a dollar bill and show it to all the kids, and he would tell us it was counterfeit. And we would stare at that counterfeit dollar bill trying to figure out how he knew. And then he would tell us the way you recognize recognize a counterfeit is you study what is authentic. Mm -hmm. You study the real dollar bill so that in an instant you can spot a counterfeit. And that's how Jesus is teaching in the Sermon on the Mount. He begins with, let me show you what authentic, righteous living Mm -hmm. looks like in my kingdom. And that's really the Beatitudes. And that's really what Jesus shows us in his own life too. And then he flips it. And in these verses, he says, now I'm going to show you the counterfeit version. So he's really taking them through the things that they see that look like real righteousness, that's good. but they're not. That's good. I hope that's helpful for you guys in your groups that you're you're seeing the first part of the Sermon on the Mount really was, here's the authentic, and now you're in the sections that is the counterfeit. So tonight the groups are going to be studying chapter 5, verses 33 through 37, and really digging into that. What would you, how would you caution, what would you, um, what would you tell them to, to be looking for as they're studying these verses tonight? Sure. First, I'd say, I think these verses are kind of tricky. Yeah. So that was interesting that you yeah. chose these. Yeah. Um, but I, I think there's a real key if you'll pay attention to the prepositions. Look nice. at the grammar in this. And prepositions are, <laughs> we all know what they are. Okay, they're, we're going back to grammar yes. school here. Prepositions are those little words like to, for, by. And they're always followed by a noun. And here's the reason you want to watch. These these verses are talking about making an oath to God, swearing to God. So paying attention to who and up yes. to God, of God, for God. Yes. Paying the, attention the to The distortion that. is happening there. So if you'll pay attention to the prepositions, that's really going to help you understand what's happening and how it's not matching up with the kind of righteousness that Jesus is talking that's about awesome. here. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Okay. I want to just land on, on one thing. So just because there's a lot that they're going to unpack, but just one thing, if you could give kind of a flag for them to be looking for, kind of one thing that you see as you've studied this text that you'd say, man, don't miss this, or this is kind of what I see is is happening here. Where would you go? Okay. Um, I think where I'd go is there's a real distinction here between doing and being. And I, th- I think that's really, if you can identify that distinction, you're going to see the heart of the original law. And by doing, I'm talking about behavior, mm. what, what people are outwardly demonstrating. And by being, I'm talking about their character, their identity. That's good. Um, so if you can find the difference between doing and being, you'll find the key to this chapter. That's awesome. Ambassador of all things wise and awesome at our church. Uh, we hope that's a blessing. And, and we're excited. As you guys jump into the section, there is so much there. There really is. We, We've broken it into small sections because God's word, Sermon on the Mount, is so rich. Don't miss this distinction between being and doing in your groups. We're praying for you. We love you guys, and we're proud of you. God bless.